up the killer bro one more time. <laughs> Nigga asked me if my skinny jeans was leggings. <laughs> the fuck? I knew this show wasn't gonna be shit when I met with the promoter. You just saw that nigga walked up to me. Can I talk to you for one second? <laughs> when a promoter do this shit, before he talk to you, it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> and just let me, let me, let me holler at you for one second. Oh man, this is just not looking good. I had guessed it'll be a walk up to that's how you know a nigga ain't giving you the money when they start whispering. Man, I guess it'll be a walk up tonight, but uh, just didn't look like it worked out that way. But I have your money. Just do the show. I, I promise you, brother. <laughs> that nigga stood like that for about 30 minutes. I was gone. I saw he was still like that. <laughs> But fuck it, I'm just gonna have fun. And they ask me why I don't quit my goddamn job, nigga, please. <laughs> Shit, this is why. I'd have to kill that nigga if I ain't had no other income coming in. I'd have to cut that nigga's throat. <laughs> ah, brother! I told you I was gonna give you the money, brother. Goddamn, I'd have cut his throat and took his CVS card, motherfucker. <laughs> fuck me out of my money. I went to Kroger today, let me tell you what happened to me at Kroger. I'm at Kroger today. So, I'm mean, at Kroger, I didn't have my Kroger card, right? So, you know, I didn't have my Kroger card. I wanted to get the sale items. So I look, see this older lady, say, ma'am, uh, can I borrow your Kroger card? I want to get the sale. This is what you tell me. Oh, uh-uh, you ain't gonna mess my name up. Bitch, it's a Kroger card. Shit ain't going on your goddamn credit. Give me the fucking card. And let me get this shit on sale. Ah, I hate your old ass. I started to bow our old ass in the back. Boom! <laughs> shit. Tired of getting my oil change. Don't you ain't get your oil change? They show you some extra shit. Now, I know the car fucked up. Change the oil. I'm just trying to make it through a couple more rides, nigga. Quit showing me shit. You be sitting there waiting for your car, here they come. Uh, excuse me, uh, sir, about every 85, 90,000 miles you want to get this flushed out. A uh, nigga put my transmission back in the fucking car let me go. I said oil chain, you taking shit apart. <laughs> like, I always want to get you a flush, some type of flush. Uh, no, oil, that's it. <laughs> Go to church, man. You know, church, you know, they talk about Jesus coming back. I think if Jesus came back, he'd be pissed off as niggas be trying to take pictures with him all the time. <laughs> Jesus be mad as hell. Nigga trying to get on Instagram with Jesus. <laughs> Jesus be mad. If Jesus tells me somebody, no, no. Ain't taking no more damn pictures. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Who you think you are? I've been praying to your ass all this time. You can't take a picture with me and my son? Jesus be like, I need to die again, shit. <laughs> some of y'all didn't find that funny. Some of the looks on your faces. <sighs> this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Hey guys. These promoters got it fucked up. They be going to them Kevin Hart shows. Look, like, shit. It is 129,000 people here. I get three comedians, we can at least do 2,000 people. Shit, they can play. Mm -mm. They don't work like that. Well, we learned something today. What did we learn today? <laughs> Oh shit. I'm getting older, man. I'm getting older. I feel that shit, man. I'll be, I'll, shit, I'll, I'll, be this, I'll be 38 this year. And I feel this shit. I'm getting older. So I'm about to stop and let these skinny jeans go and quit trying to look young. 
Now uh, fuck that. I'm gonna dress like this till I die. I don't give a fuck. Like, I ain't the fuck that. I ain't got me. I'm a dad. I'm a pharmacist. But I ain't fuck that. You, you put them. When you put them fucking them them the one of them shoes, them Crocs. That means you giving up. That means you said fuck life. I'm just waiting to retire and die. I gotta be youthful. Yeah, youthful. That's mental and inside, you know? But I know I'm getting old. I can feel it. Because now when I get in bed, you know, you know, you know, when you make noise when you get in the bed, when you do this shit right here, you get in the bed, ah, shit. God damn. Oh, God, this bed feels so good, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, this feels good. When you do that, you get up. And there's nothing better than getting in bed. Like, you ever lie to your friends and get in bed? That's the best sleep in the world. My homies call me, what up, nigga? Hey, we going to the club, you with us, boy? Like, yeah, I'll be there in 30 minutes. All right, didn't see you there? Ah, shit. God damn. Fuck that club. Ah, oh, the bed feels so good. It's so cool. Ah, oh, the bed. Love to sleep. That's why I'm always late to work. Always fucking late, man. I set my alarm. You ever? You ever tell yourself the day before you go to work, you ever look at the mirror and have that speech? You tell you, say, self, god damn it, I'm gonna be on time. I'm gonna set my alarm clock at 6 a.m. I'm gonna be at work at 8, get there about 7 30, get up early, read my paper, take a shower, have me a cup of coffee, get to work no later than 7 30. You tell yourself that, and you set that goddamn alarm clock to 6 a.m. and you do it. You got good intentions. What ends up happening, that goddamn alarm go off, you hit the snooze, and the alarm clock talks to you. This is what happens. The alarm clock will talk to you, tell you to lay back down. You hit the button, alarm clock. Hey man, it's six o'clock. You got two hours. Lay back down. And you listen to the clock like, shit, two more hours. Oh, yes. And you lay back there, shit go off again. 715. Hey, man. It's just 715. You got 45 more minutes. Lay back down. Get you some sleep. You deserve it. Now, when they say it the second time, that's when the room get warm. And the mattress lifts up over you like a taco. <laughs> and you in the bed, like you in the goddamn funeral pants. Like, ah, oh, shit. I deserve to sleep. Shit goes to turn back. 7.55. Hey, man. Ah, oh, shit. You fucking kick the alarm clock up. You get up. You're looking for shit. And when you're running late, guess what? You can't find nothing. Shit is missing. You can't find your keys, your shoes, your shirt, nothing. Give up, put that old same funky sweater on you had on yesterday. You finally find the keys, run out the goddamn house, get in the car, and what happens? Every fucking school bus in America get in front of you and like, ah, shit! And I swear it's like the school bus driver know I'm gonna be late because he be out there waiting and shit. Hold on, hold on, kids, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Hold on. There you go. Don't give a hand one of them special ed school buses, goddamn it. That's gonna be a long goddamn day. I gave a hand one of them buses. It was a two-seater bus. I never seen no shit like this. They had a special child, a child boy was 17, they ain't had no wheelchair for the boy. They carried this big ass thing out. I got out the car and helped them put him on the bus. That bitch, I'm about to lose my job. Fuck this! When you get to the pharmacy later, y'all be waiting. I'm just sitting out there and shit, waiting with their little fuck ass prescriptions in their hand. I hate when y'all coming in with them damn scripts. Oh, motherfuckers, they walk the script in. Oh, be <laughs> they walk that motherfucker in like it's an important letter. Store like this. <laughs> <laughs> the time 
that shit. <clears throat> I get off work at 10 o'clock at night, goddammit. I might be 30 minutes late, but I'm the first motherfucker out the door. I don't take no time, no time to get out. I shut that fucker down. I was at work, it was 9.55, 9.55. And when you work in the farms, you see people coming through the front. I'm on the, I could see them. I saw an old fucker came in, and I was like, maybe get some cat food, some shit. He ain't coming to fuck with me, but I knew he was. He had to. This shit gave it away. 9.55, this him, walking to the back. Attention shoppers, store will be closing in five minutes. I made sure I gave him the wrong medication. I killed that old fucker. It'll never happen to me again. I get off at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Let me keep this comedy show rolling. Did some more people come in this motherfucker? I don't know what sit where you want, shit. I know you got, you got uh, probably seats on your ticket or whatever. But might as well just stretch out tonight. <laughs> it's like one of them flights that there'll be nobody on the flight that can stretch out and be happy. Oh, I can sleep in a whole row. <laughs> Sometimes I work at the CVS on Zach Henry. I feel in over there. It's hell. I gotta do what I gotta do. 24 hours. Nerve wrecking. Y'all just don't know. Y'all want y'all shit now. Why y'all want y'all medication? Y'all sit at the fucking doctor for two hours. You come to the phone, is it ready? No! No, it's not fucking ready! What the fuck, man? Is it like McDonald's or Burger King, nigga? This shit can kill you! Well, McDonald's can kill you too. <laughs> why you can't put the stick I just on the damn birth control, bitch? You know why? Because when I go to put the stick on, a big bear comes out of one of the shelves and he chases me around the store. And then I have to jump through 16 rings of fire. Then I climb up a wall. <laughs> make me sick. That's, That's why I need this shit to vent my frustrations. Until I get famous. Y'all enjoying yourself so far? Yeah. You ready, brother? You ready now? Yeah. A good friend of mine. What y'all doing with this footage, man? <laughs> Nigga already ain't got my other half. Y'all ain't about to make my fucking uh, HBO special. You look at HBO, I'm on that bitch like, what the fuck, man? Oh, Lord. I still ain't got my other half. <laughs> oh, Where you from, man? This is a half ass show. Yeah. We got half our money, it's half ass full. Y'all ain't about to make my fucking show. The half. <laughs> <laughs> Not even half ass full. 